Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Attack of the Team. Uh, I've been kind of busy. Um, this is new. And what's out here? This is new. Uh, Bush is doing great back there. That's awesome. What's that? Hmm. That's weird. That's interesting. Oh, I bet it was a puddle. Uh, in Attack of the Bee Team, you get puddles that accumulate on the ground and turn the grass into dirt, and then it comes back. Um, but we're going to we're going to go on a little adventure here, real quick. Remember, I told you last episode that I found a skeleton spawner, and that oops, gotta go this way. That skeleton spawner is over here. Oh, oh wait a minute. Did I bring everything? See, I got that, I got that, I got that. Yes, I think I have everything I need to make this work. Um, okay, so we need to go this way. Um, we're gonna go and camp out over here. We're gonna build a little s skeleton spawner trap grinder thing. Um, oops, I have to be on tiny render distance. I'm using my not so good laptop right now. Oops. Okay, we should be getting pretty close now. Should be right over here. Let's see here. I gotta remember exactly where it was. Might have been over here. There's a ravine. Hmm. Nope. That might be over here. Set waypoints. Forget what waypoints are. That's always a plus, right? There it is. I found it. Oh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. That's all right. Um, if you didn't know, in Attack of the Bee Team, all of these hay bale statues, those have spawners underneath. So if you find the, if you find the hay bales, you will find a spawner in the, in one of the bottom corners. Um, to make this work, I'm going to need to clear this out. Um, did I bring my bed? I did not bring a bed. That was really dumb. I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to get my bed. And when I'm away, I'm also going to clear out a bunch of this um, surrounding area. And then we'll start building the enclosure for the spawner. And set up all of the grinder equipment to grind these things down into mob essence and mob essence is what we're after here of course we're after arrows and bones too so we'll be able to get all of that so hang tight be back in a sec all right here we go so most spawners work on the premise of like a seven by seven square so we're going to build this up in a seven by seven square two blocks high that way the mobs can't get out, uh, which I think I've got now. Just got to close in the bottom here. Uh-oh. Need more block. There we go. Okay. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird that it's doing that like that. Hmm. Oh, well will survive. Okay, so now the skeletons should spawn inside of there. Got to make this level. That'll work. And then we need to put, oops, how'd I miss that? There we go. We'll put the spawner in here, like so. Uh, is that the middle? One, two, three, four, five. I think 
it's this one. I think it's that one. Yep, it's that one. Good deal. Okay. Now, let's get our grinder. Like that. Put the grinder in there like so. Perfect. And we're going to need to go to sleep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Getting lag. Why are we getting lag? Okay. All right. We'll come right over here on top of this tree. This will be a perfect place. We'll have to morph. Okay. Place the bed. Hey, quit it. Go. Oh, really? You're going to be difficult like that? Sure, you are. We're getting tons and tons of lag. Okay. Plop, plop. Ah. Why? There we go. There we go. Now we'll go to sleep. Okay. Morph back into a bat. chest. So I'm going to put a chest right here. I also have some fluid ducts and a tank. Uh, fluid ducts right, right here. Tank right over here. The, the way this is going to work, oh and I also have a um, leadstone energy cell to power the thing, but the way this thing's going to work is skeletons will spawn inside the grinder will grind them up, and it will throw all of their arrows and bones into the chest. It'll throw all of their mob essence into the tank, and the tank is portable, so I can carry it back to the base with me. Uh, we'll have to go F uh, AFK on this so that it can actually run for a while to gather everything I need and fill up this tank. But I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, get all this set up, and then when I turn it on, I'll bring it back to you. So hang on just a second. Okay, so we got this thing all set up, and darkness is coming. And there's our first skeleton. Let's see if we can... Now, the one thing we don't have... Oh, there he goes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Come down here. We should have... don't why don't we why don't we okay okay it has mob essence in it will this tank not take it hmm okay well that's not cool Time for research. I would think that that would hold mob essence, but apparently it does not. Are we getting the... Uh... Yes, we are. Good. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> They're trying to get us. Um... We gotta change the render distance back to tiny, I guess. Or oh, on normal. That's even worse. 
Yeah, let's try short for right now. There we go. Hmm. So, portable tank probably will not hold my, whoops, mob essence. I'll have to figure out what to do about that. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, I figured it out. Wrong kind of tank. Um, had to use the open blocks tank and not the portable tank from uh, Tinker's Construct. So what this is going to do now is this is going to build up mob essence. This is going to build up, uh, it's going to give us all the mob drops, which will be cool because then we don't have to make arrows. As a matter of fact, I'll just take those right now. Thank you. I'll just take these bones right now. Thank you. Get enough arrows, you can, or get enough bows, you can start combining them together and making good bows. But to make this open blocks tank, what you have to have, and we might want to go up here so that we don't die. Dying would be bad right now. Um, um, in order to make this open blocks tank, you have to get some obsidian, which I did have uh, a lava pool at the bottom of that uh, that big cave that I showed you in the last episode. Um, the water was already flowing over it. All I had to do is take my diamond pickaxe and chop some up. And then you just need glass panes, which, you know, you just need six glass blocks to make 16 glass panes. So I did that real quick. That gives you two tanks. And right now, we're doing well. We're doing very, very well. So, oops, eek. Should be getting dark enough that skeletons will start spawning here. I think, yep, there they go. And there's one dying right there. Ha, 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 death to you. Death so becomes you, Mr. Skeleton. All right. Well, uh, because of my current status, uh, current status of traveling, now these episodes don't go up right away. So when I say I'm traveling, by the time it's released, I'm actually home. So. Um, these episodes are going to be a little shorter, but I wanted to get that done today. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's a real quick, easy way to build up mob essence. Um, that way we can develop an auto spawner later on in the game. Because um, I want to get a safari net so I can start, uh, so I can capture an enderman. Speaking of enderman, I had to fight one on my way back. Got me an ender pearl, which is awesome. I love ender pearls. And that will come in very handy because we got to have that for, I believe, for a Tesseract later on. Uh, tesseract is going to be very important for a lot of things we're going to do as far as uh, Tinker's Construct, Thermal Expansion kind of things. So, But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this episode as we watch skeletons die in the forefront. I love it. Um, if you did, please leave a like. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what direction you'd like. Uh, like this Attack of the B-Team series to go. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye-bye.